Hello students, in the current video I will explain depreciation fixed installment method solved problems, the concept as well as solved problems. Fixed installment method, this is one of the most important methods of depreciation. It is also called as fixed percentage original cost or equal installment method or even call it as straight line method, very familiar with fixed installment and straight line method. Under this method, a fixed percentage of original cost of the asset is written off every year as to reduce the asset account to nil or its scrap value at the end of the estimated life of the asset. Here, in this method, we will try to write off the entire amount of the asset to profit and loss account. This is what a very important concept every year we will write off and try to make the asset value nil it may also be expressed as fixed percentage of the original cost fixed percentage or else we can arrive the value with the help of the formula also while calculating the depreciation for a particular year the period for which the asset is used in the year concern should also be taken into account in the sense while calculating the depreciation, we must consider the period in which we have used the asset, right? Precisely every year we need to charge depreciation. That is what this slide is going to say, right? We will take up the next. When rate of depreciation is not given, most of the cases in uh, question, you will find rate of depreciation. But pr presume that if the rate of depreciation is not given, in such a case, how to calculate the depreciation? For that, we have a formula. The formula says that cost minus estimated scrap value. Cost of the asset. What do you mean by cost? The entire expenditure incurred on making the asset usable. In the sense, all the expenditure until an asset is put to use is called as cost. It may be transportation, it may be installation, it may be actual cost everything comprising of cost from this we will deduct the estimated scrap value every asset will have a definite lifetime presume that your asset is uh, asset is used for 10 years in the sense the economic life of the asset is 10 years after that we need to replace the asset then after 10 years if you sell off that asset as a scrap you will get certain amount that is called as estimated scrap value at the end of the life of the asset that is estimated life divided by estimated life of the asset generally it will be measured in terms of years therefore cost minus estimated scrap value at the end of the economic life divided by estimated life of the asset then whatever resultant figure we get that is called as amount of depreciation i hope i made you understand right so, we will take up the first question. What it says, a firm purchased a plant and machinery in 1st April 2011 for 1 lakh rupees. Depreciation is written off at the rate of 10% per annum under the straight line method. That is SLM method, fixed installment method. The firm, clo the firm closes its books on 31st December every year. Show the machinery account for 3 years. Most important things whenever you do problem of depreciation. First one is what is the method of depreciation whether it is straight line method diminishing balance method that you need to decide second is what is the percentage of depreciation whether it is 10 percent 20 percent whatever it may be and third and most significant that is when you are closing your books of account right that is also very important generally we have two types of year one is Calendar year, another one is financial year. Calendar year starts from 1st Jan, ends on 31st December. Financial year starts from 1st April, ends on 31st March. So, you must see when we are closing the books of accounts. Clear? So, in this case, SLM method, 10% depreciation. We are closing the books of accounts on which date? 31st December. But when did we purchase? 1st April. Right? So, we will calculate the number of months. So, we need to prepare machinery account. For that, I have drawn the format of machinery account. So, whenever machinery is purchased, what is the entry? That is, entry is machinery account data to cash or bank account. Therefore, in machinery account on 1-4-2011, we write to cash account. What is the value? 1 lakh rupees we have purchased. 
and at the end of the accounting year that is 31st December we will calculate the depreciation. So we will come to the end of the year that is 31st December 2011. When we charge depreciation what is the entry depreciation account data to machinery account or asset account. So in machinery account we write by depreciation. How much? We have to calculate depreciation from 1st April to 31st December. 1st April to 31st December how many months? 9 months. Therefore, the depreciation should be 1 lakh into 10% into 9 by 12. The amount will be 7500 is the first year depreciation. Since we have used the asset for only 9 months. Then we will close the account. Whichever side is more, we will be writing both the sides same 1 lakh. Balancing figure we are getting 92,500. This will be on 31st December 2011 only that is closing date. We will call it as by balance carry down. The same balance will be brought down on 1-1-2012, the next day, as to balance brought down. How much? 92,500. Again, we will close the account at the end of the accounting year, that is 31st December 2012. We charge depreciation. So, we write down by depreciation account. Then how much is the depreciation? In this year, we have used the asset for whole year. Therefore, depreciation amount is 1 lakh, that is original cost, into the percentage that is 10 percent amounted to rupees 10,000. So in this way we have to calculate the depreciation. First year we have used only 9 months therefore 9 month depreciation we calculated. In the next year we have used for whole year therefore whole year depreciation we have calculated. Now we will close this account whichever side is more debit side is more 92,500, 92,500 and we are getting balancing for 82,500 on the credit side. So same closing date we write by balance carry down. And the same balance will be brought down in the next year, 1 1 2013, that is 82,500. Again, the same way we calculate the depreciation. Again, same amount, 10,000, because we have used the asset for whole year. We are calculating on original cost. Then we will close the account. We will get the balancing figure, 72,500, that is called as by balance carry down. And this balance will be balance brought down, 72,500, on 1 1 2014. We will write it and leave it. So, in this way, you are asked to prepare the machinery account. I hope I have given you good information. It is quite easy to do the problem. Clear? We will see the next one short question and we will wind up this video. In this question, what it says, a truck purchase for 80,000, life of the truck is 10 years and estimated residual value, scrap value is one and only same is 15,000. Calculate the amount of depreciation to be provided according to straight line method most significant in the earlier question you were provided with percentage of depreciation and here we don't find any percentage of depreciation therefore we need to apply the formula and get the answer what is the formula for calculation of depreciation cost minus estimated scrap value divided by life of the asset what is the cost of the asset 80000 scrap value we have given in the question that is 15000 divided by life we have given 10 years therefore if you further simplify the formula we will get 65,000 divided by 10 years therefore amount of depreciation is equals to 6,500 rupees so this is the amount of depreciation we need to charge every year clear so these are the basic two short questions I have covered I will make the video on a theoretical part of the depreciation besides the problem on sale of the asset event right so we will conclude this video here only please do watch this uh, watch uh, my channel regularly and do subscribe my channel and motivate me right so we will stop here so i wish you all the best to the students thanks for watching the video subscribe my channel mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative and informative videos thank you very much